Chronic conditions such as heart disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, they're common, they're costly, and they're highly preventable, and are also becoming much more prominent globally. So I think as a societal perspective, I think it's really important to consider all of these conditions that really play a large role in our healthcare system as far as burden, and also the issue on individuals and families that suffer from these chronic conditions. A number of our faculty are very involved in cancer research where they have really gone from uh, understanding what some of the risk factors are for recovery and then thinking about not just what are some of these lifestyle issues like being more active, managing your weight, managing other risk factors, but then going to targeted interventions and interventions that are being brought into the clinics so that they have really high impact for those at risk. Two of our students in the department have been working with a data set looking at recovery of young patients with heart disease, at whether or not perceived discrimination might be associated with recovery in the first year after a young person had a heart attack. And what they found was that there was an association between individuals that reported high levels of perceived discrimination and worse outcomes in terms of symptomatology. We also, out of our department, had a paper that just got published in the journal Stroke that was looking at disparities in national trends of recurrent strokes. So there are about 800,000 strokes a year, about 200,000 people have a recurrent stroke. We were interested in understanding whether there could be differences by age, sex, socioeconomic status, and where you live. And what we found is over a long period of time from 2001 to 2017, in fact, there were areas in the country that had persistently high recurrent rates. And these particular areas were also where there was health inequity, there were differences in socio-demographic characteristics, and it really underscores, I think, the importance of good disease surveillance using epidemiologic methods to not only understand acute conditions, but aspects of long-term care and recovery. We need to think of many aspects of recovery for the individual. What unique characteristics do they have that may impact the way that they recover from a chronic illness or an acute condition? I think also a very important aspect is how do we get health messaging across different communities? How do you tell the stories that really have effective consequences? Not everything fits every person, and so I think a lot of our faculty are really working on tailored messaging, not only for different populations, but different health conditions, and I think that's an essential component that we need to be thinking about globally.